can't think of a game that sold this well. So DLC for Modern Warfare 2. Keep take a look for it. Uh, so let's go around. What is this counterclockwise? The clock and counterclockwise. Well, so nobody else sees us. <laughs> yeah. <so. laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm like, who gives a crap? Like at home, like. <laughs> the clock. There we go. All, All right. right. All right. My uh, winner of the week has to do with another uh, sales juggernaut here. Uh, they may not have had the same first day uh, software sales as you know Infinity Ward and uh, Modern Warfare 2, but New Super Mario Brothers and basically uh, Nintendo in general, I would have to say, is the winner of uh, or my winner. <laughs> yeah, their the sales are amazing. Um, well, awesome first, I, uh, before I get into New Super Mario Brothers, I'd like to say that between the Wii and the DS, they sold over seven million units of hardware uh, in December, which is Pretty ridiculous, yeah. considering they're already miles ahead of pretty much everyone else. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> there's a win there, but um, I, what I'm really happy about is the success of New Super Mario Brothers because, you know, when I look at Mario and I look at the Wii, like the Wii has become more and more of the you know appeal to the wider audience and reject the hardcore. But you look at something like Mario, and it's it's just one of those great games that can appeal to just about everyone. I mean, I can go over and, you know, I can see little kids play, playing Mario, and at the same time, I, I'm more than comfortable to play Mario myself. It's it's a great time. It's uh, it's really defines platforming, and it's a lot of fun and terrible to play with uh, your <laughs> friends, like I mentioned before. But uh, New Super Mario Bros. Wii sold 2.8 million, which is, you know... A really, really fantastic number. I mean, if if Infinity Ward hadn't made their huge, colossal sales um, yeah, would, in November, would it would have been ridiculous. Now, let me ask you this. I, I don't know what uh, numbers you have in front of you, but do you have the numbers for the PS3 Call of Duty Modern Warfare sales? Because there was a statement, forget the name, this was a while ago, I kind of heard it in jest, uh, said that Ma, he would expect New Super Mario Brothers to outsell Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on one of the platforms. Yeah, well, I, I'm looking at uh, the NPDs for November and December. The NPDs, if, in case you don't know, is the report of uh, the sales for hardware and software of console games. Um, I mean, Infinity Ward definitely outsold, um, you know, anything. New Super Mario Brothers and yeah. pretty much anything. <laughs> um, but actually, if you look at December 2009, um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 on 360 had 1.6 million and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 PS3 had 1.12 uh, million and uh, New Super Mario Brothers had 2.8 million that month. Yeah. So yeah. I mean in, in the same month it did beat Call of Duty but at the same time you know you can't overlook the colossal yeah. sales of the month before. 4.2 million from the 360 alone. But ultimately I'm just trying to say that Mario and I, I'd say Nintendo's the winner they're dominating in sales, and I'm just happy that Mario, which is finally a game that can appeal to the hardcore, is actually yeah. yeah it's, it just succeeding. it needed a step up. It definitely did, and yeah. this this game definitely accomplished it. All right, all right. Next winner. Uh, mine is Bungie with their Heroes for Haiti program. What they're doing yeah. is yeah. What, what did you steal his? I believe yes. I did. I'm oh, <laughs> man. Well, then you can both talk about it. Well, wait, I have another one that I'll, I'll just use. I have I had a neutral winners and losers. I had a winners, loser, and neutral, but I'll just use that neutral All as well. Right. Let's, let's continue with Bungie. <laughs> yes. All right, so Bungie has their Heroes for Haiti program. They've created a t-shirt for it, obviously, which we may or may not give you a picture of, depending upon how lazy <laughs> we feel by the time we're done cutting this video together. But um, the what they're the doing ass. is... Yes. They're, uh, for a set amount of time, I don't believe believe they released how long it will be but all 100% of the profits from the Bungie store will be donated to um, relief efforts for the Haiti uh, earthquake so if you're sitting there at home and maybe you've been thinking to get something from Bungie recently or maybe want to pick up something there definitely go ahead and do it you'll be helping out a definitely needy cause we'll, we'll give you a link uh, maybe the sidebar and annotation we'll see if I can link you guys up mm -hmm. yeah um, so Twisted stole my basic <laughs> basic winner of the con the concept of the winners. However, he didn't steal what it was. Yes, Bungie also is selling t-shirts, but they're also um, if you play any of their games online that that um, they have a little emblem to the right. Um, if you play Halos, you know you know what that is. If you have a white background and a red star, 
if if you play anytime on live on this Wednesday or Thursday, the twentieth and the twenty first. January. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm not sure if the video is gonna be out by then, but Probably you know. Not, I'm not sure. But you know, if it is, you know, if you, if you hear this, play that, and every every person that they see, they do, they don't, they will donate ten cents to the Haiti effort. Um, ten cents up to I think it was like seventy seven thousand dollars, seven hundred and seventy seven and seventy cents or something like that. Yeah, going with the bungee sevens. Yes, they really love their sevens. Yeah. Um, seven, 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 seven. You know, seven. only if we can get this going for Call of Duty and like the five million people that are online for that, <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. They, they could do Bam. that. <laughs> Um, and they'll spend they'll spend all their sales in Haiti eff in Haiti relief effort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and the other one was just announced uh, last week was Assassin's Creed multiplayer. What? Yeah. Yes. Uh. Using Ezio, he's going to be multiplayer. It's going to be. It, it's it's not going to be. Um, Assassin's I don't actually Creed, know about this. Assassin's Creed Three. It's not going to be Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, this is going to be like, kind of like a. Standard. Yeah, yeah. Well, not not an, an expansion. Pack. Not not an expansion because it's going to be its own separate game. But it's it's going to be like uh, like uh, the ghost story for Modern Warfare Two. It's like its own separate game. It's like kind of like a little add-on yeah. type of thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that that's what I heard. And that was going to be my neutral because you know multi it could go either way. Yeah, multiplayer yeah. is awesome. You know because you got the. It, the, the world of Assassin's Creed uh, at the same like, time. It's, what it's, are you gonna do in multiplayer? Yeah, I don't really know what to make. Yeah. Yeah. Assassinate <laughs> multiple people at the yeah. same time? It doesn't, it doesn't quite if, make if, sense. If one assassin goes up to the other assassin and says, I'm gonna assassinate you, and you really wanna feel like a badass, but like, how does you that work? Like, you. how can both people feel badass? If, I'm know. sure it'll be the loser of the week in a few months, so. <laughs> <laughs> so right, right now it's at my Tim's news. prediction. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know how that would work. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm leaving up to a developer for that one. Yes. To right. your problem, not right, mine, right thank now, God. Right now it's my <laughs> neutral. Yeah. It could go either way. All right, um, so let's talk about some losers. Uh -oh. um, my loser of the week is Tomic McDonald, who's a columnist for Maximum PC, and I have the article here in front of me. He wrote an article called Hanging Up on the Call of Duty. Uh, and it, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory to what it is. He talked. To, he was just kept saying how stupid Call of Duty was and how it was like a pointless game where the story was held together with nothing. The only thing that I thought was worth thinking about for a second, I don't really agree, but um, he talked about the no Russian and he said how they're trying to be so edgy. I'll read a quote from you. Yet the designers are so bold and daring that the main bad guys are Russian, not jihadists. Infinity War is so committed to depicting immoral ambiguities and horrors of the modern battlefield that it wouldn't be so damnly politically correct. There's a certain amount of truth to that, but eh, this really holds no weight, and the fact that I, I'm kind of pissed that I have a subscription to Maximum PC and then they, they printed this crap. It, it was, you know, this is a great game. I hate when people talk about how, how Call of Duty is the worst game they've ever seen. You've got five million people playing it, or whatever the number is. Obviously you know, people kind of people are gonna find flaws. You've got five million eyes looking at it. You know, it's just, it's the game is is great. It's you know, you we can't we can't call it out for being bad. And I, you know, there's too many of these. There's a every, I should say the loser of the week is maybe less McDonald and more anyone who's writing about this game uh, publicly and saying like this is the worst game ever. Ah, I. It's just a guy with a really catchy title. Right? Yeah, I, you know is. what? That's what it was. I thought the title was nice. Hanging up on the Call of Duty. Like I was like, <laughs> nice. Like you know, I thought maybe it would have to do with game addiction or something. I don't know. That's what I was thinking when I first saw it. And no, I, I, I kind of like it that they went Russian this time because you know if you if you take like uh, all the terrorists, you know they're scary, but they're guerrilla war. They're guerrilla fighters. That they, 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 they attack you and then run away like little scaredy brats. The, <laughs> like, like at, at least, at least with like Russians against the Americans, that's something like like people from the Cold War era believed would happen. I mean, like, sure, th this isn't the Cold War. This is like the 21st century. Yeah. Th this is modern day. But it gives you a real life enemy because it's just. It's it, a it, war's war. Yeah, it, it's it, it just it's it, it would probably be a lot more bloody because we know. Russia is a lot more powerful than yeah. any stupid terrorist. Yeah, you know, so. and, and maybe he's kind of racist in a way when he said, like, oh, they, he should have, they should have picked jihadists, but it makes sense, I mean, considering all the conflicts in the Middle East, but, eh, I, I was disgusted by this article, I actually, I was, I was going through my typical reading, you know, down the thing, and I, I had to put this magazine down, I, I didn't want to read anymore after reading that, I was like, you can't just call out one of the most prolific games in gaming history, especially in its beginnings, I... 
Uh, you definitely don't want to hear it. So uh, that's my loser of the week, and he deserved that one. So let's go the other way. This